Hello, welcome back to Curl the Gaming, where we discuss everything video games, take a look at some gameplay footage and reviews. Uh, back again with Evercade, like for my last unboxing of the Versus, we're going to break into uh, the next volumes. So I'm going to continue on, I'm going to take a look at uh, volume number 21, the Intellivision Collection, uh, part one. Uh, the Intellivision wasn't my favorite system. I didn't have a lot of exposure of it growing uh, to it growing up. So uh, some of these games are kind of new to me, but we're just going to break into it, take a look at some of them, and see how they uh, compensated for the number pad on that. So with that being said, let's break into it, take a look at Evercade volume number 21.
All right, welcome back. Hopefully you like that look at the Intellivision collection running on Evercade, uh, Volume 21, Collection 1. Uh, like I said, I didn't have too much exposure to the Intellivision growing up. I didn't know anyone that actually had it. And if they did, I don't have uh, any memories of it. I've had memories of like the ColecoVision and stuff, but not the Intellivision. Uh, I gotta say, it's it's kind of interesting. The fact that they list them all as 16-bit games is uh, kind of mind-blowing. I didn't think about that at the time. Uh, I guess it's just the processing power. The graphics aren't that... Well, I guess they kind of are an upgrade for the 2600, but still. 16-bit <clears throat> uh, to me, I just kind of think of the Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Excuse me. <clears throat> so the games on here, the emulation's not too bad. Uh, the way that uh, you probably saw that on the screen capture uh, for the keypad hold down uh, I believe it you can either hold down select and bring it up or the left and right and bring it up and then select the keypad down there uh, this is one that you'll have to check the manual for uh, as you could tell I just kind of threw it in just to check out some games and uh, and stuff so again uh, the Intellivision uh, this collection is not my favorite. I did show Thunder Castle for a certain individual. Hopefully it's it's how he remembers it. Uh, the way I played it, probably not even close the way you're supposed to. I was just running around and I figured, oh, okay, now you can collect some of the bats, you can collect some of the other items. There's one button to use the item that you have collected, and then I guess you can slay the dragons. I don't know how many there is until you get to the castle, but uh, it seemed locked. Again, this is another one I'm pr probably going to have to revisit. and. Uh, take a look at but uh, right now this is probably my least favorite ever <laughs> K collection sorry for those that enjoy it uh, speaking of the Intellivision probably aware that the Amico came out uh, not too long ago uh, I haven't tried that uh, the price is a little bit higher than I expected so I don't know if that's something that we'll be visiting later on uh, I'd like to it's just uh, yeah just I, I believe it's around 400 Canadian which I believe at the time they, it was going to be like 199 US so something happened there along the way but uh, yeah I don't know we'll see what the future holds but uh, right now so that's a quick look at Evercade Volume 21 let me know what your thoughts are down below uh, are you familiar with the Intellivision if so uh, how do the games look do they even stack up to uh, what they actually are like just from this from me trying this uh, the emulation seemed fine. I didn't really have any issues. Of course, I had to have a pinball one on there, so took a shot at that. Again, trying to cram like a pinball game on a 4x3 screen and it's all chunky like that. And of course, ball physics aren't the same as they, as they should be. So, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down if it's first time on the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I do try to get videos out regularly. Uh, lately I'm hitting the three week mark. Uh, before that was uh, weekly. Uh, just the way with scheduling and stuff is. So uh, when I get a chance, I'll be uploading some more. Uh, this weekend there'll probably be a few more Evercade videos coming up uh, just to showcase what was included with the Versus set. So with that being said, thank you and I'll catch you again next time.